Good morning, Zone family. I uh, told you last week that I was gonna hop on on Mondays and um, do a quick little coaching each day, each Monday of the week this year. This is week two for our coaching videos. Um, I think probably one of the best things you could do is grab you a little um, composition notebook or some sort of little um, journal or something. And as I go through and ask you some of these questions in here that you take the time later on to go answer them, um, I think uh, these are all from exercises I've done with my coaches, with um, Morning Sarah and Heather, um, with in groups that I've been in and things like that, and just things I've learned from books along the way. And I'm going to take them and share them with you because I think they're the things that help me to get through and overcome when things get hard. But here in the beginning of the year, we're just going to do a little bit of reflection and thinking about us. If you missed week one, go back. Um, I'm tagging these as well, so they'll all be in a topic. If you look at the top of the page, they're all under the same topic, like weekly motivation or something like that. So here's our um, here's my questions for this year. What does success mean to you? So when it comes to and, and because of this, you know, group in particular, we're going to talk about health and our fitness and things like that. What does success mean to you? And when I ask you that question, I'm asking you like your internal validation what does it mean to you what is success um with your health what would you call a marker and i'm not talking about necessarily weight loss like what would success mean to you and let me ask you this especially for the ladies on here guys too i know this stuff affects you as well if you had no external um compass if you had no external validation, if you had no external comparison, so what do I mean by that? If you had no um, magazines to look at, if we had no Facebook pages to look at, if we weren't looking at, um, you know, uh, I don't know, pictures on billboards and things like that, if you had no idea what other things look like other people right if if what from your insides like what to you feels right for you you know what i'm saying i think sometimes and i'm going to go back to the thing we hear so much and we go yeah 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 i've heard that but at the same time i don't think we give it enough weight to know how much it truly affects us so um, we're you know, looking for that external validation. We have been so conditioned by the outside world to think that we should look like Photoshopped bodies. And then sometimes we make that our aim. And you'll never be happy with yourself if you don't decide with your own insides of where you should be and then work to live there, if that makes any sense. So in other words, um, I remember years and years ago, I was, and this is like living back in Tampa before Rob and I were uh, married or anything. And I remember one day driving in my Jeep and I'm listening to um, the guy on the radio and he was talking about Britney Spears and he absolutely like slammed her, like she, saying she was overweight. And what, first of all, if you guys saw this guy, he had no, like, no business calling anybody overweight, especially Britney Spears. This is back in the day. She was fairly young. He said, and he goes, and she's five nothing and blah, 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 many pounds. And when he did, it floored me because it was my height, my weight. And I was like, it honestly was the first time, and I was pretty fit at that time. And it was the first time, like I had worked really hard to get to a place and still had to hear that. And I was just driving in my car listening to some jackass run his mouth on the radio, right? So um, I'm just like, that hit me. And it hit me to the point that I'm 48 still telling you that. It doesn't bother me anymore. But what I had to do over the years is like, if I'm going to find a place where I'm not, I do, I refuse to spend my life struggling with my body. Refuse. Like life is too short for me to decide like I'm never going to be happy with where I am. We have got to decide that there is a happiness place. And right now for me, I'm healthy. Last year kicked my butt. My pounds are up a little bit. I'm not unhappy with where I am though. Will I get back there? Because I feel better when I can like run and do the things I want to do with more ease. Yes, but I'm not unhappy with where I am. Does that make any sense? So that being said, 
like, and this is something that grows over time. So I'm going to ask you the question, what does success mean to you? What does success mean to you? And what is it you're fighting for? Like when you show up at the gym, what is it that you're fighting for? What are you working for? When you say um, no to crappy foods, what are you fighting for? I mean, that's a fight, right? So what is it you're fighting for? What's your why? Dig in deep and answer those questions. And really, like, what do you want? And I'm asking you, like, what do you want? Not like, what have you been shown that you should want? Can I say that one again? What do you want? What would make you happy with the amount of work you're willing to give? Not answering the question, what have you been shown that you want? What have you been conditioned to think you should want? That's a big question. That's a huge question. Um, and then last, um, and you know what's funny? Like anytime I ask somebody, what do you want? Immediately, most of the time, they start telling me what they don't want. So I'm not asking what you don't want. Don't tell me you don't want to be sick. Don't tell me you don't want to don't have to be blah, 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 like your parent or grandparent or whatever. Tell me what you want, right? And then last, here's the question. It's not about what we want to accomplish in 2020. It's who we want to become. And I think if you go back and ask those last couple of questions that I just asked you, you will get closer to becoming the person that you want to be. You'll get closer to being that person. You'll get closer to being able to live in a place where you feel comfortable in your own skin, no matter where your body happens to be at that particular time. Ah, you might be on your way somewhere, but it doesn't mean you have to be unhappy with where you are. So, okay, there's my questions for today. I think everybody, like as we go through, this is our week two, grab a journal, like write some of these things down, answer these questions and um, dive deep. And I guarantee by the end of this year, you will very much more be closer to becoming that person that you want to be. And I mean like inside, than any of us were when we started this year. So have a wonderful week. Challenge starts Saturday, go sign up. I added an individual, so if you don't have a buddy, get it, get it. The price doesn't go up for members. So even the early bird ended yesterday, member price stays the same all the way through. Jump in, bye.